Snap Production. Hey, it's Amy Ross with you. The South Australian government's made some changes to the rock lobster fishing seasons from the beginning of spring. Fishing in the northern zone will be allowed all year round, while the season will start a month earlier in the south zone, also from September 1. Primary Industries Minister Claire Scriven says it's good news for limestone coast fishers. It gives them more flexibility for these fishes, which does give them more confidence in terms of, of the industry because they know that they can capitalise on what's the, the best time to be fishing uh, and also when they're going to get the best prices and highest demand for their product. Bowel cancer, it's not something we like to talk about, but South Aussie screening rates have dropped to their lowest level in almost a decade. Screening's the best way to catch it early because it often has no symptoms. And Christine Morris from the SA Cancer Council says if you're age 50 to 74, you'll get a free test kit in the mail. The test is quick, simple and you complete it at home. A really good tip is to leave the kit in the bathroom so that you remember to use it when you go to the toilet. The opposition leader has been busy visiting the Limestone Coast. He attended a public forum this week in Mount Gambier, calling for radiation therapy services to be brought to the region, with the matter still being considered by a parliamentary select committee. David Spears says it was important to hear from locals firsthand. It was really my opportunity to be part of a panel to demonstrate the Liberal Party's commitment to getting high quality and consistent, reliable cancer treatment into this region in the form of radiotherapy, but obviously also looking at all the cancer treatments that are available. And the hunt is on for a 1 in 10,000 blood donor who can save the life of a seriously ill South Australian mum. The 37-year-old has a rare combination of O and A blood types and is due to have open heart surgery any day now. Helen Walsh from Lifeblood says they're spearheading the search for the extremely rare blood donor. BP Plus. Do business the clever way. Visit bpplus.com.au to find out more.